Peace, peace, peace. This is your humble hip-hop sales coach, Tiger Toledo. And you already know what it is, man. You're rocking with the best. Y'all heard? So, I wanted to touch bases with you guys this morning. And, of course, I'd like to do uh, the gratitude exercise. Give three things that you're grateful for. You know what I mean? Uh, I'm grateful for my wife, my kids. I'm grateful for you guys tuning in and, um, you know, getting you know, some of this piff, you know, so I'm very glad the, uh, that you guys are joining me here today. Um, you know, I had a conversation, well, a DM, a buddy of mine named Percy, shout out to Percy Henderson. Uh, my buddy's from, uh, Albany projects back in Brooklyn, where I'm from. And he was, uh, he sent me a message that was very, real touching to me. Cause he said, Hey, dude, you never realize how many youngsters are watching us on video with the content that we're putting out. I put this out to inspire, to motivate, to teach you guys some sales. I'm not selling anything on here. This, this is off of GP. But I realized that, you know, me and him, me and Percy came from a very, very dark place um, where positivity was considered a weakness. You know what I mean? Um, where, you know, we weren't trust funded kids. You know, we didn't have, you know, money sitting in the bank waiting for us to go to college and, you know, making choices. Options weren't that readily available to us. You know, um, we seen a lot of death and destruction, a lot of drug use around us. So a lot of times it was very, very hard for us to want to do something positive. And I know a lot of cats that are watching this, you know, young or old, it affects them. You know, their environment affects them in a negative way. You know, for the guys that, you know, for the guys and girls that smoke weed, can you remember the first person that introduced you to marijuana? And no, no shade on the ones that smoke, but when smoking affects your judgment and you're not able to perform at a higher caliber, then I have a problem with it. But can you remember the person that introduced you to uh, narcotics or drugs? Can you remember the person that introduced you to crack cocaine? Can you remember the person that introduced you to uh, alcohol use? You know? So, what's up, Kelvin? So, what I'm trying to say is, not everybody comes from a, a, a trust fund living out in the suburbs and stuff like that. Like I said, my buddy Percy, he grew up in Albany Projects. And if you guys know about Albany Projects in uh, Brooklyn, New York, that is an infamous project. A lot of death and destruction in that place. And for you to be able to make it out of a place like that, I mean, you know, I salute, I salute all day, you know. It's it, it's a place where when you go to school, which I went to the junior high school right across the street from it, which was called IS390. If you were smart, kids picked on you. They teased you and they beat you up for wanting to be smart. If you say you wanted to be a doctor, a lawyer, an author. The people closest to you will tell you that you can't do it. The people closest to you, I mean like your brother, your mother, your best friend will tell you, stop shooting for the skies. You're thinking too big. Come on, hit this. Hit this weed. Smoke the, drink some of this 40. I'm talking to those those people that are out there that are going through this right now, the young kids that are going through this right now, the ones when you want to go home and you're going home to do your homework, but you're locked out of your house because your brother is in the house doing drugs. I've been through that. I can't even go home to do my homework because my brother locks himself inside the house so he can smoke crack cocaine. A lot of you guys know that. A lot of you youngsters are going through that in the hood. Where you have an abusive father 
that lives in the house, yeah, it's great that you have both of your parents in the house, but your your father's abusing your mom. He's physically and verbally abusing your mom. A lot of you guys been through that. You understand? But ask yourself, how did you get through that, man? What kind of discipline? What kind of, what kind of character did you have to have in you to do that? You have, first, you had to remove yourself from that situation. You had to transport yourself to a different location, whether it was reading a book, being around a family member that was more positive, being around a friend that was more positive. You had to be ruthless. You had to cut certain people off completely because their negative way, their death and destruction was affecting your life. Thank you, Kelvin. This was wearing on my heart, Kelvin, because, um, you know, a buddy of mine, Percy, he, he, you know, he touched me and he was like, man, thank you. Thank you for, for keeping me going, keeping me inspired. And he told me that a lot of youth have been, you know, watching our video stuff. So I was like, wow, I, I, you know, I never, I never thought about that. I never thought about the young kids that are watching this and like looking at this as inspiration or, or, or motivation. I just did it because I wanted to be on social media creating instead of being a spectator. You know, I, I didn't want to be in the bench. I'm like, put me in coach. But <clears throat> when I, when I realize how many young people and even people my age that are going through these struggles today, you know, abusing alcohol, uh, drug use. I mean, my brother recently got off of drug use. Recently, like literally like a year ago. And he's doing great. I mean, that, that right there makes me the richest man on the world, in the world. Just to see my older brother of 12 years finally getting his life together. You have no idea what that does for me because all of my life... All of my life, he's been abusing drugs. Some of you guys have family members that are breaking into your home and stealing your belongings to feed an addiction. And you want to stay focused. You, you're trying to stay focused. You're trying to do what's right, to be a better person. And I'm letting you know that you can do it. You can do it. Fuck with me. Fuck with Uncle Tiger. I'll be your Uncle Tiger. And steer you in the right direction. Trust me. 95% of, of my life, I'm successful with shit. The only part I haven't accomplished yet is financial goals. And that's coming, that's coming immediately. Because I know some of you guys, because I grew up in the hood too... I look up to the ones that had the flashiness. So I'm going to get the flashiness to help you guys out. I'm going to get the Benz, the Bentley, Rolls Royce and stuff to help, to do this for you guys. Because I knew when I was growing up, the people I looked up to were the drug dealers. Because they were successful. And they didn't take no shit. What up, Flam? But I, I want you guys to understand, like a lot of the, a lot of the things that you're going through in the hood. I want you guys to stay strong. I want you guys to stay focused. I want you guys to to okay. to surround yourself with positive, strong people that that want the best for you, not trying to knock you out the game. It's hard enough in this world being competitive and dominating your sector, dominating your market. You don't need to add more you know, other things to knock you off your game. Whether it's a chick that that is like, you can't be successful. I, I went through that too. And she might be watching this video, but you know who you are. I moved to Chicago. I wanted to, you know, uh, do some club promotions, nightclub promotions. And she went around telling other people not to go to my club, not to go to my party. If they went to my party, she would stop talking to them. She was doing all this behind my back. You don't need people like that in your corner. You do not need people like that in your corner, man. People that know your every move 
and they're trying to sabotage it behind your back. No, no, you don't want that. You don't want that at all. Uh, um, last night, I know a lot of you guys saw the, the show Power and you guys are real hyped about power and stuff. But a lot of you guys don't want that. You don't want that life. I know people that have been kidnapped. You don't want that life. You don't want to have your wife and kids being held for ransom. Trust me, that shit is real. I know people personally that has gone through that. You don't want that. You don't want to be shot at. You don't want to get, you know, you don't want to get shot at. You don't want to get hit with a couple of those slugs. Look, man, there's a million and one ways to make money out here. Go after the ones with the less consequences of you losing your life. Or losing your freedom. For something that you did for 50 seconds. I got a buddy right now doing life. For 30 seconds, a split decision. Now he has the rest of his life to think of different ways he could have handled that situation. Why? Because he was intoxicated. People amped him up. His girl amped him up. Now his girl is probably with another dude. His guys are probably still having fun. His guys is probably hitting on his girl. Be very, very careful of who you let in your circle. Very careful. That's like, that's, I want you to look at your circle as uh, young little kids, right? And you know, that uncle over there likes to touch little kids. Would you let him in your circle? Would you let that, that, that molesting uncle around your kids? Hell no, right? Hell no. Keep your circle tight. Surround yourself with warriors that want more than you. Keep that shit tight. You got to be, you, you, you're right, Kelvin. You got to cut people off. You got to cut people off, man. If they do not see your dream or attribute to your dream of you being a successful, productive person in this world, cut them off. Now, if you want to be a professional criminal, surround yourself with criminals that are successful at it. Because there's a lot of criminals out here that don't know shit. You don't want to be in one of these books that say world's dumbest criminals. Surround yourself with the most successful people you can possibly find. Reach out to them. Call them. Email them. Do whatever it takes to be around the people you want to be around. And Percy, it comes back to you, brother. I know how hard it was growing up in Albany Projects, B. I can just imagine. I've seen it. I've seen the negativity. I went to IS-390. They bump you on purpose just to start a fight. Just so they could take your sneakers, take your lunch money, catch you in the bathroom, beat you up because they found out that you knew a, a math question and they didn't know. Positivity was considered, is, is even now, in the hood, positivity is considered a weakness in the hood, not a strength. Being smart, intelligent is considered a weakness, not a strength. Go where you are celebrated, not tolerated. This is your humble hip hop sales coach, Tiger Toledo, signing out. Peace, love, and happiness to you and your family. Ask yourself, what are you grateful for today? Name three things you're grateful for. One love.